located the pressure regulator right here. You need to unwind this cap and this little brass nut. Tan tight. There you go. What you're going to do is you're going to pull the cap off, swing this around. And screw it in this way. Now the pressure regulator is set up for LP. Pop your cap back on. Again, it's only finger tight. When you're setting this up and you get confused which way it needs to go, if you look at the flat there, you can see. One side said it says LP in an arrow, and the other side natural gas and also an arrow or NG. All right, now we're going to change the jets on the burners. First, remove the grill. You will need a 932nd socket or nut driver, a seven millimeter will work also. Remove the cap, remove the flame spreader, and let me get a picture of inside for you. Okay, let me just Turn this counterclockwise. The jet will loosen up. Pull the old jet out. Go over to your little jet chart. So this is the uh, top left one here, as you can see. Another thing too is if you look at the jet sizes, this is the one that's going in. This is the one I took out. Hand thread the new one in just to get the thread started. Snug them up, not too tight. Put the spider back on. Put your cap back on. Now, put your old jet back in the hole the new jet came out of. That way there you can mark this card as natural gas jets. Spread it back on. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the broiler and the oven jets. But before we do that, we need to remove the door. Simple process is open the door all the way up. Grab this little tab here. Pull it back to you. Do that on both sides. Close the door up a little bit. And pull it out.
remove the racks. And now that will give us access to the inside. All right, we're gonna move those two screws back here. Both are Phillips heads. That removes fairly easy. Now we need to remove the front screws. Now we need to remove this back screw here to expose the jets and where the gas supply comes in. And the jet's located right here. Okay, this one's easier removed with the ratchet because of the angle. Try to get this little booger off without dropping it. There we go. And then from your card, this is the bake one. Again, try to get it on without dropping it. I'd pull that pipe further out, but the uh, igniter is connected through the back. And I don't want to pull too hard on it. And again, just snug that up. back on, replace your screws,
snap those two down. Place your side cover. Thing that's nice is all these screws are self-tapping screws, and they're all the same size. simple don't have all the pans to remove put a little cover down so I try not to drop a screw in a hole that I can't get out later all right like that Snug them up.
And that's it. We got them all up. I've been working upside down. The top one wasn't bad. All right. Let's see what lights here. Those all seem to do quite well. Huh. Side jet. Hmm. They all seem to light well. cover for it. In the meantime, this front one works really good. It's good for stew pots. And I like that. Yeah, that worked real well for getting big pots going. Center burner is um, smaller than I want. I mean, it's probably fine for a little skillet to fry on, but I'm going to play around with the jet sizes on that one and see if I can get that a little bit higher like it was before. But for now, it's fine. All right. Let's try the oven. Shut itself off. So we went to another tank and everything seemed to fire up fine. The top burner's running, the oven's running, and the temperature's climbing. We'll let her get to 350, we'll start taking her down, and um, work on getting the old one out, bringing this into the house. She's up and running, all good. A little larger jet on that center burner. Thank you. 